The universe is vast beyond human imagination. Our planet, with its teeming billions of inhabitants, is merely a tiny speck in the grand cosmic expanse. In 1990, Voyager 1 captured an image of Earth from beyond the orbit of Neptune, showing our planet as a mere pixel in the vastness of space. As the late Carl Sagan so eloquently put it, look again at that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, and everyone you've ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives. Fast forward to today, and Voyager 1 is still out there, exploring the furthest reaches of our solar system and beyond. But recently, something strange happened. NASA scientists monitoring Voyager's transmissions received a message from interstellar space 23.8 billion kilometers from Earth, and they were unable to decipher its meaning. Could this be a message from extraterrestrial life? How does Voyager send messages from interstellar space, and what does NASA have to say about it? Let's find out. For decades, the Voyager probes have been sending valuable data back to Earth, providing insight into our solar system's outer planets and regions. The Voyager probes were designed to use advanced technology and instruments to explore their outer regions of our solar system. Although humans have a good understanding of the universe, the majority of this understanding is based on theories and assumptions. The Voyager probes were designed to provide more detailed data and imagery of our solar system's outer planets. Voyager 1 was built with an impressive communication system that was designed to be functional, even beyond the limit of our solar system. But its most exciting feature is surely the power source. Instead of solar panels, NASA engineers built Voyager with three radioisotope thermoelectric generators, or RTGs. This was due to the expectation that Voyager would travel to the far reaches of the solar system where sunlight would not be able to reach any solar panels. Each RTG contained 24 pressed spheres of plutonium-238, which was an excellent field choice because each sphere had an 87-year shelf life and slowly degraded over time. This degradation produces heat, which is converted into electrical energy to power the Voyager 1's systems and components. Voyager 1's first primary target was Jupiter, which it reached on March 5th of 1979. By studying the planet's magnetic fields, moons, rings, and hyperactive radiation belt, the probe provided a detailed observation of the Jovian system. It flew by Jupiter at a distance of about 217,000 miles from the planet's core, allowing for much more detailed photographic resolution than had previously been seen. Voyager 1 also provided the first detailed images of Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system. Ganymede, with a massive diameter of over 5,200 kilometers, is about 26% larger in volume than Mercury and even more so than Pluto, making it the eighth largest object in our solar system. Scientists discovered that Ganymede is not only one of the oldest moons in the solar system, but it's also older than Earth itself. Following its thorough analysis of Jupiter and its moons, Voyager 1 completed a gravitational assist utilizing the planet's gravity to increase its own velocity. Voyager 1 was able to slingshot to its next target, Saturn, where it made its first flyby in November of 1980. Voyager 1 was able to approach the planet's surface within 124,000 kilometers, where its onboard cameras observed the complex structure of the planet's rings as well as the active state of its atmosphere. As Voyager 1 approached the solar system's outskirts, it began to lose small amounts of energy prompting the deactivation of non-essential spacecraft components. Despite these setbacks, Voyager 1 continued its journey into the unknown. Voyager 1 became the first spacecraft in history to reach a distance of 69 astronomical units from the Sun in 1998. Only one other spacecraft, the Pioneer 10, had ever reached this point in space. Voyager had entered the termination shock in 2004, which was a point at the beginning of the solar system's edge where the solar wind slowed to subsonic speeds due to interaction and collisions with the interstellar medium. The detection of this interaction by Voyager 1 aided scientists in establishing a definitive boundary for the termination shock, which is thought to be located between 11 and 13 billion kilometers from the sun. As Voyager 1 continued its journey, it came across a region of space known as cosmic purgatory. This region was distinguished by the absence of solar particles and a magnetic field that was twice as powerful as that observed within the solar system. This magnetic field was created in response to the outer pressure exerted by cosmic radiation, and it served as our solar system's defense against these volatile cosmic particles. NASA announced in 2012 that Voyager 1 had entered interstellar space, making it the first spacecraft to do so. 
Voyager 1 was detecting an increased number of charged particles and cosmic rays at this point in its journey, indicating that it had exited the heliosphere, the sun's protective bubble of particles and magnetic fields. The journey into interstellar space, however, was not without surprises. Heavy collisions with high-energy particles were detected by Voyager 1 which are thought to be the result of exploding supernovas far beyond the boundaries of the solar system. The spacecraft also discovered a previously unknown region of the heliosphere, characterized by a magnetic field that was 10 times stronger than previously thought. These spacecraft have expanded their mission and are now exploring the vastness of interstellar space. The Voyagers have been sending back a wealth of data about our solar system and interstellar space since their launch. However, the scientific community was taken aback when Voyager 1 began transmitting unknown and terrifying data during one of its observation cycles. Scientists have been closely monitoring Voyager 1's signal feedback with bated breath, given that no spacecraft has ever made it beyond the heliosphere in the history of mankind and space exploration. The data from Voyager 1 appeared to be generated at random, reflecting fairly impossible scenarios that were unlikely in interstellar space. Officials from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory revealed that the unexplained data came from Voyager 1's Altitude Articulation and Control System, which was in charge of measuring and calculating the orientation of Voyager 1 and its antenna in order to keep the probe on a direct line to Earth for proper signal transmission and orientation. Scientists were baffled as to what caused the terrifying signal and junk data returned by Voyager 1. This was due to the fact that the probe appeared to be functioning properly, as it was still able to observe, collect, and transmit data back to mission control on Earth. Voyager 1 is roughly 23.8 billion kilometers away from Earth, and signal exchange between the probe and mission controllers at NASA is experiencing significant delays. Signals from Voyager 1 take over 22 hours to reach Earth, and roughly the same amount of time to return to the probe. After weeks of grasping at straws in an attempt to solve the mystery of the strange signals returned by Voyager 1, NASA's mission control recently discovered the root cause of the problem. They discovered a problem with Voyager 1's altitude articulation and control system. The system started sending data through a corrupted computer that had been deactivated for years. The data was accurate and readable in and of itself, but being relayed through a corrupted computer corrupted the data as well, sending the junk telemetry data back to Earth. According to NASA, once the root cause of the problem was identified, they only needed to send a new command to Voyager 1, instructing the probe to stop sending data to the corrupted computer and instead resume using its functioning computer. Scientists are baffled as to why the spacecraft abruptly began using a corrupted computer without being instructed to do so. While some theories speculate that cosmic radiation interfered with the system's commands, others speculate that Voyager 1 made contact with an intelligent extraterrestrial life form who sent a message that we were unable to understand. Perhaps the message was so advanced that it caused a computer switch, and we have yet to decipher its true meaning. After all, the vastness of space is riddled with mysteries, and who knows what Voyager 1 may have encountered on its journey through the cosmos. The possibilities are endless. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and watch these ones as well.